Smith's Fun Surf Spot. Today we're doing another yum box. It's from the Ring of Fire. Yeah. Which is to the Philippines. Mommy knows a lot of people in the Philippines, doesn't she? Yeah. <clears throat> so that's they're gonna like this. It might be things that they eat on a daily basis, right? right. So here's a little thing about the Philippines. And then Can I have to see the... it. Hold on. So every time you get a, a sheet that shows you where your snacks are coming from. And then it gives you the pictures of each of the snacks, and then you can rate them. You can rate them best yum, runner-up, worst yum, uh, most unusual. And then there's a puzzle and a trivia that you can also do here. So let's go ahead and get started. Now let's do a trivia question. Which one of the following Philippine... Wait. Which Filipino toy was originally designed for use as a weapon? The jump rope, a yo-yo, jacks, or a frisbee? Well, I think a yo-yo. I think a frisbee because frisbee. The beloved, oh. The beloved toy we know today was once used as a as a yo-yo. Score one for mom. The beloved toy we know today was once used as a hunting weapon I in the Philippines. A frisbee because a frisbee because like like a discus. Yeah. It was a large ball of sharp studs. It was attached to a thick twenty foot rope. That was flung at enemies. Whoa. Now it's a toy. <laughs> Onward and upward. Okay, so let's start out with um, the potato fries. Okay. They're fried foot potatoes. Let's see what those uh, are. That's what ketchup. french fries are made out of. It's a tomato ketchup flavored potato stick. <laughs> what? You A, love tomato ketchup, ketchup and B, love french fries and potatoes. Uh, chips. I think you're safe. What do you say? We can't get them open. So, don't use those because those are sharp. Right. That's why Daddy used it and not you. Wow, those are ginormous. Those are like regular french fry size. But they sound like cheese Cheetos. Like the yeah. texture of a Cheeto. Yeah. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Two thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. This is called cheese, but I love cheese. And the next go on to where are these? Boy something or another. Boy Bawang baked corn. Barbecue flavored. Baked barbecue flavored corn nuts. I was going to say, it sounds like a corn nut. They got water and this is um, really gross looking right now. Yeah. It's a straw. Oh, this is some strong smell in here. You probably need to like open it so see that. Okay, grab a couple. Corn nuts. Barbecue flavor. Oh, two thumbs up. On that one? Yeah. So mm. far, this is a pretty good box. Yeah. Let's go to the pillows. Cookies with ube cream filling. Oh, I was going to eat those. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know what ube is. I like the, the two dice. Stop, stop, stop. Oopsie. No touching the knife. It's like a potato, I guess. It's like a mini type, frosted mini wheat type thing with cream. I'm going to do a thumbs up. So oh, it's purple. sweet? Yeah, it's sweet. Oh. Yeah, it's purple. Oh, okay. No. Purpley. We got, we got a reluctant double thumbs up over there. So he is right. It does kind of look like a shredded mini wheat. Now we go to the cheddar jalapeno 
cheddar jalapeno flavor corn snack. We know these are Cheetos. I think it is open today. <laughs> the purple one was really good. Yeah, like like best. Food. They probably have like the best food ever. So far, you've liked everything. This one maybe not so much though. This is cheddar jalapeno. A bit spicy. <laughs> no, it doesn't taste that good. Is it the cheesy part that's not so good, or the jalapeno it's, part that's not so good, or the not, texture that's not so good? Well, it's not spicy either, so it's weird. <laughs> well, that These doesn't are really clover explain. chips. You don't always get everything that's listed in the book either. Yes, so. you do. No. Really? Chili cheese flavored corn snack. <gasps> Mom might have to eat the rest of those. It is a disaster today. I can't open any packages. Here you go. They gave me this on the package. Try it. Looks like a rice cake. Oh, no. A little spicy. And then, so see, it says there's like a popcorn, but I don't see the popcorn in here. Um, I don't see the popcorn. Like a Goldilocks piping, toasted rice flavored chamber. I don't see that. I don't have that. So I have like a yellow, a green, and a white on. little package, and then a yellow mm. with purple package that you haven't opened yet. Now we're gonna go to a cupcake. This is called the cupcake. Cupcake. And there must be different. This is a nutty choco. There are different types of flavors. Oh. So it says um, assorted flavors. Oh. Cupcake. Got... This chocolate with like crispy stuff on top. Okay, there you go. That's pretty good. And then I get a one thumbs up though. Oh, just a single thumbs up, not a double thumbs up. Well, those ones, those are the other stuff. Let's say I don't remember there ever being a time where the stuff wasn't in the package that it showed on the. So this is a shortbread. This is Goldilocks. It's a new big flavor shortbread. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so ube most is like a cream. Wait. Okay here. Well, Try shortbread. <laughs> Double thumbs up with the big and eyes. There's another one, which is another shortbread, so it's purple. It's a different type. This is called Penny Pig. Penny Pig. And this is a vanilla. This is Monella. No, it's all vanilla. You know that's a location, right? Yeah. Okay. Here, what's wrong? The purple. Pretty good. We'll give him a thumbs up. Oh, Spencer did not like the purple one. No, and then we have some different types of uh, candy. Candy. Well, looks like there's one like a lemon. One maybe looks like a lime. 
Daddy can't read it. Daddy's better glasses. So this is Mr. Mize. This is a sweet corn flavored chewing candy with butter flavor filling. Woo-wee! That's like buttered popcorn. This is chewy cheese candy with cheese filling. <laughs> Cheesy! That's the other one. And then there's Buko Pandan flavored chewy candy with milk filling. <laughs> and that's all the same repeats. And then we go to the little chocolate thing. The Extreme Ultimate Choco. Choco coated choco biscuits with choco filling. Maybe it's like, we only have to use them that one. Maybe like a Nestle 100 gram bar or something like that. Really? Hmm. Well, close. Or, uh, I was thinking wafers. Yeah. I was thinking like wafers. But Seems I can't like see the package. Oh. They're just a graham cracker with chocolate. Like a chocolate graham cracker. Some crispies. <laughs> Good job. Lots of thumbs up for that. So clearly we like uh, potatoes. We are not so fond of cheesy jalapenos and spicy These things. The chili and cheese weren't that great. And, so, and, the, and the jalapenos weren't that great. Otherwise Very everything nice. else was pretty was good. Pretty good. The pillows. Blue Bay filled crackers. Yeah, those purple ones are good. And then, Blue Bay is, what do they call that? It's like a custard. Filipinos use potatoes for every type of sweet under the sun. Their favorite potato to eat, their favorite potato to eat, to eat for dessert, a unique purple colored yam called ube. So ube is like a yam. You say a sweet potato. Which of the following was patented in the Philippines? A toaster oven, scuba tank, color printer, or karaoke machines? I'm thinking karaoke machines. Yeah. Printer. Well, let's see yeah. here. Yep. <clears throat> the first working, the first working karaoke machine was patented in 1975. And then the world's largest human skull, diamond, pearl, or gold nugget was found in the Philippines. Gold uh, nugget. <laughs> diamond. I would say gold nugget. Three, the pearl. Okay, well that's it for the Philippines. Welcome to the Philippines. Like and subscribe and watch so. some more videos. Bye. Bye.